some natural phenomena. Introduction Have you ever seen electric sparks in the socket when its plug is loose? Are you afraid of the lightning which occurs during rains? Even lightning is an electric spark on a huge scale. Ancient people did not know the cause of lightning. They thought it is the wrath of God upon them. They were always afraid of it. Discovery of electric charges Have you noticed when you take off polyester or woolen clothes, your hair stand? If these clothes are taken off in the dark, you will also see some sparks and crackling sound. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin, an American scientist, showed that lightning and sparks are the causes of the same phenomenon. However, he could not prove that single factor. It took 2,000 years to realize that factor is electric charges. Developing a charge by rubbing Take a ball pen refill and rub it vigorously on a piece of polythene. Bring the refill close to the pieces of paper. What do you observe? The pieces of paper get attracted to the refill. Similarly, if you rub the comb on cloth and bring close to the hair, the hair stand. These objects, ball pen refill and comb, acquire small charges and hence these objects are called charged objects. These charged objects also charge the pieces of paper and hair when they come in contact. Types of electric charge In the earlier experiment, do pieces of paper and a ball pen refill have the same charge? The answer is no. There are two types of charges, a positive charge and a negative charge. How to identify the type of charge present on an object? Let's perform one more experiment by using the ball pen refill. Rub one refill with a piece of polythene and place the refill in a tumbler. Rub the other refill and bring it close to the first charged refill kept in the tumbler. You will observe that the two charged refills repelled each other. Now take two balloons, hang them in such a way that they do not touch each other. Rub both the balloons with a woolen cloth and release them. What do you observe? One charged balloon repels the other charged balloon. So let's proceed to the third phase of this experiment. Rub a refill and place in the tumbler. Bring an inflated charged balloon near the tumbler. What do you observe? A charged balloon is attracted to a charged refill. We can say that the objects made of same material repel each other while the objects made of different materials attract each other. Hence, we conclude from the experiment that like charges repel each other while unlike charges attract each other. It is a convention to consider the charge on a glass rod is positive when it is rubbed in a silk cloth. When this glass rod is brought near a charged straw rubbed on polythene, they both attract. Hence, a plastic straw 
is negatively charged. Transfer of charge The electric charges generated by rubbing are static, which means they do not move by themselves. When charges move, they constitute an electric current. Electric charge from one charged object to another charged object can be transferred through a conductor. We all know that the metals are good conductors of electricity. Let's perform an experiment to understand the transfer of charges. Take an empty jam bottle. A piece of cardboard paper slightly bigger than the size of the mouth of the bottle, a piece of metal wire, and two strips of aluminium foil about 4 cm by 1 cm each. Insert the metal wire by making hole in the center of the cardboard paper. Bend one end of the wire, and on it, hang the two strips of aluminium. Keep the cardboard on the bottle in such a way that the free end of the metal wire is outside the bottle and aluminium strips are in the bottle. Bring a charged refill near the free end of the metal wire. You will see that the aluminium foils repel each other. The charge present in the refill is transferred to the aluminium foils through the metal wire. Since both the strips acquire the same charge from the refill, they repel each other. Now touch the metal wire gently. You will notice that the aluminium foils collapse and come back to their original position. The reason? The aluminium foil strips lose their charge to the earth through your body. The process of transferring the charge from a charged object to the earth is called earthing. In buildings and houses, the earthing is provided to protect the residents from the electrical shocks. Summary Lightning is an electric spark on a huge scale. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin, an American scientist, showed that lightning and sparks are the causes of the same phenomenon. There are two types of charges, a positive charge and a negative charge. Objects made of same material repel each other while the objects made of different materials attract each other. Like charges repel each other, while unlike charges attract each other. The electric charges generated by rubbing are static, which means they do not move by themselves. When charges move, they constitute an electric current. Electric charge from one charged object to another charged object can be transferred through a conductor. Metals are good conductors of electricity. The process of transferring the charge from a charged object to the earth is called earthing. In buildings and houses, the earthing is provided to protect the residents from the electrical shocks.